Don in London, hello. July 15th, my video is all about recovery from addiction to either substance or behaviour. Or substances and behaviour. My addictive substance, alcohol. Very freely available on every corner just about in the UK and anywhere in the world. So is it any wonder that some of us find we get a problem with, with drink? Why? Well, maybe because we need to fix the way we feel fix our outlook and fix our feelings of happiness or sadness just keep on fixing and I guess I learned that from the very first drink it changed the way I felt about life and so then my behavior changed as well so substance and behavior addictions just happen if we're prone to it and life is difficult so that applies to everyone we can all find life difficult and we all find ways to cope but from a coping strategy to an, addi an addictive personality is not too far of a stretch if we develop dependence and then addiction so it, I guess it can happen to anyone but many, maybe some of us are more vulnerable to it than others because our physiology is able to cope with large and copious quantities or simply a small quantity can change the way we are and we like it or we need it and then we want it so these days for a few years sober one day at a time a one day way of living to the good of what can be and accepting both good and bad of life what made this possible well friends family community professionals get me alive long enough to get a clue that I needed help to deal with my addictions so no longer trying to drink myself to death no longer seeking oblivion no longer fastening on to trying to be perfect with the right people in the right place doing the right things not wanting anymore maybe just needing enough to live life live life well and so with all the help that was around me along came a fellowship AA Alcoholics Anonymous I don't know whether I was ignorant of it I certainly was in my drinking days because it didn't apply to me drinking too much although often I thought I may do but it didn't apply to me the rules of addiction if you keep on doing something long enough we're going to depend on it and then when we depend on it we can become addicted it didn't apply to me I was special and different or well, at least that's what my inner self must have thought because without too much trouble I crossed that line and couldn't stop drinking on my own so Alcoholics Anonymous plays an awful not an awful a wonderful part in my sobriety I was going to say an awful, it, it's there an awful lot in my life but it is wonderful in my sobriety to be with sober people so I can be sober with everyone in life and do the best I can on a daily basis so why AA? why so important to me? well it's a fellowship full of unique and authentic people who speak about their experience, strength and hope where they will and I choose to share it here as well for those who have no idea about AA and those who have a great deal of knowledge about AA and can't get to a meeting so I share something of the AA literature and some of my own thoughts as well but what is AA? on this little card here it gives you the outline and this, this card came from uh, a meeting it cost a few pennies and it has inside the uh, 12 steps on one side and the 12 traditions on the other and those are the, those are the bare bones of what makes recovery possible the steps, the toolkit of living and the traditions which hold the fellowship together so the toolkit is about how to be open, honest and willing to live life and the traditions are about unity, service and recovery so unity, service and recovery around being sober not much else because if we try to extend it into other areas of life then we would lose our focus very quickly and that's set, set up in the AA preamble on this page here or front or back, I don't know which way you look at it anyway, it's always at the front or near the front of my videos and it goes like this 
Alcoholics Anonymous is a fellowship of men and women who share their experience, strength and hope with each other that they may solve their common problem and help others to recover from alcoholism. The only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. There are no dues or fees for AA membership. We are self-supporting through our own contributions. AA is not allied with any sect, denomination, politics, organisation or institution does not wish to engage in any controversy, neither endorses nor opposes any causes. Our primary purpose is to stay sober and help other alcoholics to achieve sobriety. So the great giveaway in there is, the only requirement for membership is a desire to stop drinking. No rules, laws or regulations, only a desire to stop. And the other part where it says, it's, it's free, free at the point of entry, it's true, but we try and contribute to make, make the rent for the meeting rooms that we hire and for the coffee and tea we consume and the literature that is produced by the fellowship. But it's free at the point of entry. And as to whether AA being an allied to anything, it's not. And it's certainly not part of the remit of AA and these videos. They don't, they're not complimentary. This is just one person's view. It's the many people in the fellowship we listen to to get the wisdom to be sober, not one person. We need many voices, many experiences, so we get to identify and see how other people who are like us, because don't forget, every person on the planet is represented in AA who has a problem with addiction. Some way or other, somewhere or other. But everybody in the fellowship is allied to something, be it their faith, institutions, organisations, families, religious, uh, I suppose organisations, I don't know, pastoral is very difficult to describe for me, but everybody has a clue about what is right for them in terms of their affiliations, but the fellowship itself is not affiliated to anything, which is a good thing, including me. So our primary purpose is to stay sober and help others, other alcoholics to achieve sobriety or other people who have the desire to stop drinking too, who do not describe themselves as alcoholics. It doesn't matter. What you are is what you are, and what you say you are is your business, not mine. And it's not for me to judge either, and that's one of the things I've learned over the years, judging people, trying to be right, trying to be perfect, with all the difficulties I faced, because nobody can be perfect, nobody's right in everything they see and do. We need to keep on learning life because life changes every single day. So I'll share a bit from the AA literature. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm just getting my coffee. I don't feel on top form this morning, and the reason is because my blood sugars are a bit high. I'm a type 1 diabetic, courtesy of recovery, simply living long enough to get it. Diabetes, type 1. After a virus, yes. It was a bit of a surprise to me too. I thought everything was going well, and then suddenly this came along, but it did help me uncover the other part of the emotional instabilities I had around depression. So not gifted with the right chemistry set for many a year, if ever, that's what I was told. So I need professional help on that too. But I shall be alright. July 15th. The AA Daily Reflections in the uh, in the literature is about step seven, asking for our shortcomings to be removed. And for me, my shortcomings are not enough faith, not enough courage, and lacking in confidence when I don't know something. Or I feel I ought to know something, but I don't. But these days, I don't mind not knowing. I do mind if I don't try and find out if it's relevant and important. So, for the daily reflections, all about pride, and it goes like this. For thousands of years we have been demanding more than our fair share of security, prestige and romance. When we seemed to be succeeding, we drank to dream still greater dreams. When we were frustrated, even in part, we drank for oblivion. Never, has there, never was there enough of what we thought we wanted. In all these strivings, so many of them well-intentioned, our crippling handicap had been our lack of humility. Lack of humility, not able to keep on learning life. 
we had lacked the perspective to see that character building and spiritual values had come first had to come first and that material satisfactions were not the purpose of living so material satisfactions you know we I suppose that anybody can be a hoarder accumulating something or other and not actually just covering our needs so that we stay on track with what it is what is the purpose of living I guess to improve our outlook and the way we feel about life and the spiritual aspect is living to the best we can be in the moment of now and that is a personal judgment call I guess but he goes on to say time and again I approach the seventh step asking to have my shortcomings removed only to fall back and regroup something was missing and the impact of the step escaped me what had I overlooked a single word read but ignored the foundation of all the steps indeed the entire Alcoholics Anonymous program that word is humbly I understood my shortcomings I constantly put tasks off I angered easily I felt too much self-pity and thought why me then I remembered reminded remembered pride goeth before the fall and I eliminated pride from my life so humility to humbly ask for help keeps me right sized or human sized hopefully so it's not about knowing it's probably about learning and living and being in the day but the thing is you know, once we know something and it's working for us we are very reluctant to give it up which is why addiction starts and happens and continues and then every sort of behaviour then becomes extreme and our attitudes get stuck it can't be me, it's them so my thoughts for today what can I do today? what can I not do today? and learning the wisdom to know the difference I can do sober, can do forgiving, can do learning and can keep learning from my endeavours which are good things and mistakes I can find out what I cannot do too in every moment and find acceptance as life is what it is today so it's not about me it's about what's going on and how am I included and how can I help rather than control, manipulate and make it the way I think it ought to be I keep on asking questions which can be annoying as well another one for today graduation day exclamation mark graduation day in recovery another sober day means I can keep on learning life today no exam to pass every mistake an opportunity to learn no shame or guilt in not knowing something I can ask for help and sometimes find it doesn't mean it's, I'm always going to find out every day is graduation day in sober living because if we've had a sober day we have graduated into a new one coming up simple as that previous years pride small world small words small word can be a big problem never show fear put on my brave face admit no weakness shame guilt anger or resentment control my feelings and my environment think tough and overcome pride with humility I keep learning how to live life pride kept me in the problem humility keeps me in the solution today and humility does it keeps me in the solution of living life and another year pride before a fall there is a, a hungry angry lonely tired halt connection halt means hungry lonely angry lonely tired if I'm hungry angry lonely and tired I'm at risk at risk of taking self will back and running running for the hills or running into the next bar we get fractious and unreasonable with ourselves then everyone else may get the same life is difficult and life is about balance with humility we can ask for help a strength to ask and also to help when asked we learn from experience if we are open honest and willing one day at a time and as the 12 steps are all about learning how to be open honest and willing to live life sober it's not an overnight success it's a gentle daily 
development, I guess. Humility to keep on learning life. Humility to keep on being a part of, in whatever capacity that we can. From whatever type of job to endeavour that we might do. To be included, to be able to love people, be loved back, and simply a part of it. To be useful. So those are the thoughts for my day. And uh, Friday, how's my week been? Well, all my family's moved from London, and uh, I'm on my own in that respect. I don't know how I feel about that. Sad, but elated that uh, they've gone somewhere better to live. In the country, or near the country. And I hope it's going to work out. Other stuff, been to meetings, seen friends, helped people, tried to be useful, learning life, concerned not to hear from one or two people, but that's as far as I can go with it. I can't fasten on and start thinking, have I done something wrong? And the answer is no, they're probably busy, as life is, and that's good, just for them to be okay, is okay with me. So, no longer, so no, long, no longer taking people prisoners and saying, do it my way or the highway. It can't be like that. Let people be themselves, always, for me. And what happens what is what happens. This is how love works in recovery. It's not about fastening on and developing something I think I ought to be. It's just letting things develop as they may be. And a bit hot under, under the collar because uh, my diabetes regulation if you like seems to have been up and down a bit this week could be caused by stress could be caused by trying to do too much again anyway I'm learning I have to be careful same as everybody else and I'm not superhuman I'm just ordinary human which is quite extraordinary enough for me just for today so enough of me and wishing you well for the weekend if you're out there whatever you're doing yeah recovery rocks and we graduate every day and we don't have to dash ourselves on the rocks again the serenity prayer the can do can't do and wisdom to know the difference always helps me and whether I am an agnostic an atheist or a believer is not the issue at all it's uh, an exhortation to the good of life, no matter what, to understand the possibilities and the acceptance of what is. So to God or in good conscience, no matter what your belief system is, but I use the word God because it means truth, love and wisdom for me, and I can't define God. I can't shut up, can I? Right, that's a bad sign, diabetes-wise. So to God or in good conscience, God, grant me the serenity to accept the things I cannot change, courage to change the things I can, and the wisdom to know the difference, always in the moment and always in the day, just for today.